Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate session 38 part 2. I'm just going to double check I got all that right. I think I did. Yep, 38 part 2. It's the 13th of March 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the Half Elf Druid. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing a uh, Half Orc Paladin called Crumbar. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Amastasia, a Wood Elf Rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. So, I believe we were in the office of Zadreka, and you were just told to go find the red dragon. Yeah. So, well, reaction think... shots, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, I'll just kind of walk up and just like slam my hand on the table and be like, have you lost your mind? She just <laughs> looks at you with um, disgust and her teeth are showing again and she says, you'll remember your place, Paladin. I can't and you should so it's <laughs> like, And you should remember where you are. You're literally asking for us to get the help of our enemy. So you would abandon Gil a second time? I would not. I will not abandon him. But at the same time, I'm not about to act, go and ask the Red Dragon for help. He, that is exactly who the orcs up north were, um, dealing with. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I love that idea that reached actually turns and goes. Wait a minute. Was it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so quick to judge somebody by the colour of their scales. And she looks at you like poignantly. And I'm like I just don't see why we we literally have Taken out a tribe of orcs for following the engine of the engine of engines, and now you're wanting us to now do the same. Follow no point at our enemies. Yes, the brutality that the engine of destruction is capable of is unmatched by many. Do you have an alternative? I believe in the order and that we can do this without such n such need. I think she just kind of blinks and then closes her eyes and rubs like the bridge of her nose. And she says to you, Reach. She kind of turns very slowly to you and says and your thoughts? Uh, help from somewhere else would definitely be better, if possible. Oh. She looks like back at Crumbar, and then looks back to your reach, and she says, You think I would send you on an errand to wrangle the red if we did not need the help? With a green or a, uh, another one? No. Mm, I'm no. thinking, you know, that blue dragon that proper is lightning bolted away. Yeah. Um, what was <laughs> her name? What blue dragon? Like, <laughs> yeah. you mean yeah. the woman who pushed you through a tree and vanished in a bolt of lightning? No. I'm thinking her. Who's totally blue? Who's totally a dragon? Sure. Yes, the blue dragon. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> begin to find out why you were struggling to tell if that woman was a human or not. <laughs> Ever a dragon. dragon. <laughs> yep. Getting mixed up with dragons. In here. Yeah. Prisma must be the most evil dragon because she's all the colours. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a dragon. Zedreka's probably a dragon, let's face it. I mean, come on, guys. But yeah, so anyway, like you like, you have those thoughts, Grumbar, but what do you say back to her? I'll just say, it's like, 
out of all the dragons you can think of, you choose the red? Is there seriously no others you could think of? I can think of many. The red is eager to destroy. You point him at something, he burns it. Yeah. You also assume he would help us. What? Yeah. Fire likes We're... to burn. Also, after, if it does help us, what stops him carrying on fighting? And it'd be us, he'd be fighting then. You're assuming Where there's anything left. Fire. Based no, on I'd how like long this conversation would take. <laughs> and she rolls her eyes at that, and then she says, um, I am open to alternatives. And she looks at um, yeah. Ketlith and at Arya. You two are very quiet. Speak up. Come forward. She like motions <laughs> both of you to like step towards the desk, where obviously Crumbar's got like his fist probably digging into the desk, and mm. we're just maybe standing an extra foot back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would have obviously kind of been like, you know, when somebody's face moves to follow the ball in a ping pong match. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. That's kind of how I've I've been 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 doing. And um, I'm like, how do I put this? It is, of course, a bit. I'm sure you understand why we're a bit um, reticent about this this plan, but then again, we don't know what exactly would be the best course of action, or at least I don't. In you decision. kind of see her kind of like just... shrinking into herself. So yeah, she like... says right over she says, indecision is not our ally. Well, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> you would. <laughs> she kind of turns I mean... to you and like, obviously she's not really in like a, a jovial mood, but she kind of looks to you like briefly as if to like, kind of like acknowledge the fact that you've spoken. And then she kind of like turns back to like reach, who's currently her mo- like her motive sanity. <laughs> in the conversation and she says find me an alternative okay where's the golden dragon in all of this where's uh, he at yeah well as in the great gold worm the question like so yeah. her, so she said I know they said they hasn't been answering the prayers though so yeah literally she says the location was unknown and prayers have gone unanswered yeah but surely he's not the only one, right? So surely if we manage oh. to track down another golden worm, they might be able There's to only track one. him down. Like Gil, for example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might know, help. Gil, which is where well, we all the paladins exactly are trying to where frame. Gil is. Yeah, and that's you know? literally all the paladins she can spare are fighting at the abyss to try and get to Gil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So currently the situation is, you guys are here, right? The place seems to be full of refugees from somewhere, right? The All the paladins, pretty much except like essential staff, it seems, are fighting at the abyss. And she's like, does just send you to go back them up? Or do you go off and be useful like you seem to have been? So you tell me. Um, and her plans, go find the red dragon and let him burn everything in the abyss. It's a very proactive plan, right? Burn your way a path towards Gil. Yep, pretty much. So I, I have this <laughs> thing in my head, like, what would the great golden worm do? <laughs> <laughs> what would GTW do if he were here today? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Surely kick an ass or two. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm curious, do, do, is a record, do you have any information about the red dragon? Uh, do they need anything, or is there anything we can offer them? As I said, no. the red dragon is fire. He wishes to burn, to consume. He is not exactly yeah. ambitious beyond destruction. He does, however, and she kind of just like kinda catches herself, like mid-educational rant, and then she says, "Follow me." And 
obviously she walks through like the door at the side of the office. Um, okay. But I asked, like, what's to say you burn the things we want him to burn? She's already so not. she's walked through this door. She's waiting, and he's following her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already on I'm fire. Asking. Yeah, so she it's walks like... through, and it's basically essentially like a seating area that is like clearly more comfortable um, instead of like the office space. And she says. Since this seems to be a longer discussion than I had intended with my <laughs> afternoon, and she motions to the seats, yeah, and then so she even motions like everybody walks in, and obviously I'm uh, assuming Crumbar's probably last because he's big and stubborn. Yeah. And she <laughs> she motions and she goes, "Even you, large man." <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of go over and just flop on a on a comfy seat. Yeah, and it's just like it's like big long couches, basically, essentially like a. Almost like a kind of rec room or like a kind of, you know, staff relaxation room type thing, but it's clearly like a private room where people would go and like chat, um, like an officer's lounge or something. And mm. uh, she closes the door in and she just kind of stands behind one of the chairs leaning on it and she says, The Five are an organization of sorts. What do you know of them? And at this point, we say, who actually does know anything about dragons? Or would? Dragons or what? Or would know about dragons? Yeah, who would know about dragons? Not wood uh, dragons. Wood dragons are rare. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering about that. Like, the well. golden <laughs> like the, yeah. you would probably know more. I'd at least know about golden dragons, mm. at least. Well, she's specifically talking about the five. Yeah. Which are the like, five chromatic dragons. Right, okay. I mean, They're also one of the icons in the game. Um, no, I can't say I would know. I mean, apart from the uh, uh, Great Gold Worm, mm-hmm. can't say I know a lot about it. That's okay, yeah. Sorry, Johnny. Are you? Maybe my character yeah. mines. Uh, why don't you roll... Magic. Let's see, you can go for Arcana or History. Ooh. Um, uh, I'll go Arcana. Okay. We'll see oh, no, that, that was a bad move. So maybe you misheard her. <laughs> Daggins. Yeah, I know about Daggins. <laughs> Daggers? I got a dagger in a boat once. <laughs> <laughs> If you need daggers, we can get plenty of daggers. I've stole these seven. <laughs> <laughs> Just in this room alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, my reason was them. like, yeah. uh, I was studying under someone who was like, you know, a wizard. Mm-hmm. And yeah. dragons are like magical creatures. So like I might have read a book or something. Yeah. About them, <laughs> but clearly I didn't so, pay attention. <laughs> so no, like I think what, that's a good angle there because obviously sometimes dragons are known to take other forms, right? To mingle mm. with mortals. So that's a thing. Maybe that's been something you've obviously looked into during your time of mishap transformation, of course. Yeah. So maybe you've been <laughs> looking into other ways to change form and there were obviously books on that stuff, but that's your knowledge. It's about dragons' connection to like magical transformation, not yeah. about any actual relevant like what their motivations or any shit like that. So maybe that's mm. why you don't specifically know. Um Anything about that? So you go. So they sometimes look like people, and then you think, uh, I wouldn't say that because obviously Gil looked like a person, and then was a dragon. Yeah. yeah. So maybe you just maybe you keep that to yourself. But that's definitely um, like a good enough reason. Yeah. What about yourself, Arya? Was there any kind of thing in your background? You I think was, that? I was. I was going to try to wing it in the sense that you know, ever since I started dealing more with fire, I would have been more interested in you know, beings that produce fire, including dragons. The other thing is that you've not actually that done that in game. Sort of... You've not oh, went to like yeah. a library and said, okay, I've, I want to get sure. check out a book on... Different if you said, in the past, because I grew up with dragon parents, I learned about dragon. Oh. You, do you know what I mean? So, no, 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 no. So is there anything from I, I your time in the forest? Like... Well, I don't know, because like, I do have the, the, the wanderer background. It kind of means that I've like, you know, Traveled and learned how maps and and stuff work. So it doesn't I don't mean to say that, that you've wandered necessarily far from. Perhaps. It doesn't mean to say that you've went far from the wildwoods. Looks well, it's huge, right? It is like hundreds of miles yeah. long. Um, 
but yeah, it's just it was just to see if MD had a specific like tie in they could pull up about specifically like the the five. So I don't think we do. No, I guess That's we know then. <laughs> and um, yeah, so like she's leaning on the back of the uh, this year, and she says, "The red is not in charge of the five. The white is their leader." I think if you wished to acquire the official help of the red, you would have to speak to the white. Why don't we try and get the help of the white? She kind of just draws you like a look, and she says, because the cost would be too great. What would the cost be exactly? She just, she laughs. Probably the first time you've ever seen her laugh. <laughs> and then she just kind of looks up to the, the ceiling and she says, I don't know, like a crown, perhaps? Your head on your spike? That would be a pretty big uh. price, you know? She just smirks at you. So she doesn't actually know exactly. I mean, if you take that from that, yeah, she'd be like that crown. So take from that what you will. Mm. Mm. And I mean, if the white is in charge of the engine of destruction, the white must be pretty bitching. Mm. So. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? I vote for the lower surprise. <laughs> to give the white your head and a spike. <laughs> You're gonna just give the white the law surprise, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gil's pregnant, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Hands over dragon egg. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, she's like, mm. I am open to ideas. This is safe space to discuss. Where would we find the white? In this city in the west, or? I'm trying to say, no, the the dragons are not welcome within civilization. The wards protect us from them. What's that say where all the dragons are? Axis is the one you're thinking of, and it's Axis, um, yeah. It's an independent yeah. nation in a volcano that are ruled over <clears throat> by dragons that are all metallic. Yeah, uh, metallic. Uh, okay. So, Could any metallic dragons help? Do. And she kind of looks over and she says, It is unlikely they would render assistance. They haven't yet. I think it would be cheaper probably to hire. Maybe more willing to work for gold. Yeah. <laughs> she laughs again at that. She says, We have asked them for their help. Gold is the last thing they are interested in, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> mm. Tried silver. Okay. <laughs> and she kind of just, um, she like, she again leans back on like the back of the chair, and she says, uh, again, cost. The red is dumb enough to want to destroy for the sake of destruction. Okay. So I think we're hunting down a white dragon somewhere. So either that or we go and find a few million demons. <laughs> what? I... Mm. <laughs> and she says, forgive me a moment, I shall return shortly. Does anyone require food? Anything you got is fine. Yeah, I was thinking we Yeah, I mean, especially after like two hours in prison place. <laughs> yeah, it really like, builds up an well. appetite. Two hours prison, then <laughs> teleporting straight to where you need to go. <laughs> well... But anyway, yeah, so she heads out the room and leaves. She's in the kind of officer's lounge. Like, I like money. Um, 
Yeah, food might be a good idea. No, well, she's went away to get some food to continue the discussion, obviously. So, but currently, what this really means is you are now alone in the room. You can talk. Or are we? If, the knows? walls might have ears. <laughs> the chairs were all mimics roll initiative. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I meant, but okay. Um. I'll just turn to everyone and be like, I do not feel comfortable about what we've been proposed. Do you hear the words in your head? Propose an alternative. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can do a big list of the NPCs. Where is that again? Uh, it's in the drive. Yeah. Drive, drive. There's a link to it. As soon as you load it up, though, you get like an you get like an insult instantaneously as you open it up, and it's like, oh hi, oh hi, Celeste. Yeah. <laughs> she would be handy straight away. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe a really Demon powerful toy. weapon would be really good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Aramis, Aramis, as possible, but yeah, uh, the king thinks he's right. I mean, mm. see, to be fair, right, Magna probably would be a fucking good ally, right? It's just, yeah. what would what would that involve, right? Bring them for the start. Oh. Well, I mean, like, again, much like the princess, right, he does have an official office, right? Like, you could go through, like, the bureaucracy of trying to get in touch with Magna, but, like, you can imagine that's less likely, given, well, that, I think, last time we met you guys, like, Eric just went off on one verbally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. But he obviously has a vet yeah, interest. Cause in a... Yeah, we got ready, Han. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's obviously have, like, he's encountered him twice, right? So it's not like he's aren't off of his radar, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it was twice with his daughter. Once... Yeah, that's going to attract his attention. <laughs> Once with that thing in the basement of, like, the palace, right? And then the second time where you were like, so have you seen like your daughter anywhere because you said she was going to meet us and none of us are saying this out loud because you were the king. Oh, hey, oh hi, Magna. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the Great Gold Worm seems to be MIA right now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird that he's kind of Nowhere to be seen. Mm. Not really, for a god. Like... I mean... Yeah, but... At the same time... Mm. Oh, who knows. Mm. <laughs> There's old man Jet, I wonder if he's still in the Citadel. Oh my god, yes. Why just, don't we just, just talk to the demons constantly about the architecture? <laughs> I think you just killed Arya. <laughs> well, you know, this stonework dates back to the time where the dwarves used to rule here. Dwarves never ruled here. Yes, lots of dwarves. <laughs> everywhere. We used to stand on each other's shoulders to make you think they weren't dwarves. Like, no, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. That didn't happen. <laughs> questionably racist old man. Oh, Ryan, you're so funny. Thank you. So I... What's, what's the... Did you get any answers from the, the NPC lists, too? None. Uh, I find Eremos, but we don't know how to use him. Uh, so we need we to also, to we also him. can't really get him back, so... He's on our list of things to do very soon, so that's right. Cool. Let's just let's just take a vote. <laughs> do we get let do we go and ask the red dragon for help? Yes or no? Yeah. Stuart? Sure. In the event of nothing else coming up, yes as well. Adrian. Sure. 
Uh, well, three to one. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go ask a big dragon well, for help then. What, what's your the other option? Crumbar. Right, the other option is do we go and try and talk to Magma, or whilst we're trying to get Eremos back, so we break in for caught, we then ask Magma if he's by the way, which mind doing this. There are so many steps to that first sentence, so we break in. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Just. Do you remember when Eric I, I, had said to you guys, yeah, so I tried to use the hammer to get to Omen, and I nearly, apparently I died. Uh, <laughs> so Celeste said, uh, I got you, fam. Like, hmm. <laughs> so we break in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, it's preferable to finding a red dragon. A lot of ways. Yeah, I was gonna say like there's a lot of like pros and cons to each plan, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Again, keep in mind this is just what Zedraka is thinking, right? But like, keep in mind she's known for being the problem solver of the Golden Order off the books, right? That's why she was put in charge of the. Oh God, this is a crisis, Zedraka, you're in charge because <laughs> you'll get us through the crisis, probably. As opposed to somebody else that would do everything super professional and buy the book. So Drake is like, can we kill the thing in our way? Get rid of it. So that's also why her brain goes to, what is going to get rid of a whole bunch of demons super easy and be one problem and not a million problems? A giant red dragon. Yeah. Okay, let's get a red dragon. Let's get the red dragon. He'll like destroying demons. And humans and dwarves. And yeah, elves obviously and... everybody else is meant to run to the but... side. <laughs> when yes. the big flames come in, but I, uh, it's a, uh, it's her plan. That's all she's got. But obviously, and the paladins all create a big sign saying, "Destroy them first, please." <laughs> They'll put on there like their flame retardant, like tarpaulins and whatnot, and hope for the best. Uh -huh. uh, is there any way we could put a dragon just into the abyss? Might just like steal one with the portal. Yes. I mean, what is then? Yeah, needs to fight his way out, and that's half our job done already. That's. Janus could probably do that. Yeah. You're literally the god of travel. Yeah, but yeah. we're having problems finding gods at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> finding <Yeah>. faith. <laughs> yeah. right. So it's a tough one. I guess we're gonna go and ask this big white boy for help. Yeah, right. Where is the white dragon? Point is in the direction. Oh, what did he expect? Remember, he's in the room alone just now. Yeah. I'm still thinking he's half listening, so that's why I'm just. What is the dragon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's. Yeah. There's the scene of the help you bring. <laughs> <laughs> it seems fine with me. Everything's yeah, fine. I, I mean, I can't see so that going. Can wrong everyone, at all. everyone, just roll intelligence for me, just now? That's a like scary saving one. Saving throw or nope, just 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 the stat intelligence. Yep. Mm. It's not bad. It's probably damn oh. good, Crumbar. Oh. Was Crumbar well? Crumbar is a smart bastard. It's probably be good. good. So, reach the stones on you that yeah. you think getting the reds help is going to be very tricky because dragons are by nature selfish, right? Yeah. And sometimes the selfishness can come out in different ways. Like, for example, Chromatic dragons are usually like neutral to evil on the spectrum, as it were, and metallic dragons are neutral to good, generally. Again, there are exceptions where maybe there's been like the case of the evil metallic dragon that no one ever speaks of, right? But yeah. that's a very, very, very like rare. Yeah. Super, super rare. Um, just like how chromatic dragons aren't just evil for evil's sake, they will do things in like logically or in their best interests or you know like don't throw the planet into the sun because I live on the planet type you know pragmatism because again okay. neutral to evil is the spectrum not just evil but 
they all get a bad name, obviously. The wards of the cities, and this is something Crumbar knows very well, apparently. Mm -hmm. The wards of the cities were designed to ward off the dragons. Because obviously the Wizard King doesn't want to fucking fight dragons every day, and his troops aren't like aren't dragon proof, right? So I don't. Yeah, I don't think anyone really wants to fight dragons every day. Yeah, so he obviously has built these amazingly protective wards above all the cities, and that keeps the dragons away. So you would need to get them deactivated down the south. Mm. You also know, Crumbar, the, the most likely place that the white would be is very far north. Like, to the point where, like, see where the the of the Keepers of the Golden Gate is? Like, further north than yeah. that. That's so much travelling again. Yeah, it's like, it's we're also like now. winter mountains as well. Mm, but it's like we're here now. Mm-hmm. Find someone else, you know. I've got my winter blanket, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, you're sorted. Yep. <laughs> Wraps it around your like, head like oh, a towel, like the shower. <laughs> like, honestly, my thinking is like we're here now. I want to go and punch things, and then go punch some other things. All right. So, like, you just know that much, right? So, Reach and Crumbar both know enough that to get the red dragon anywhere near the abyss you would need to deactivate like so many city wards to let it fly mm. past without just activating like the anti-air guns do you know what I mean uh, uh. also <laughs> that kind of means you need the king's permission okay. yeah unless the dragons have sneaky ways but are they willing to reveal sneaky ways Right. If we're talking to the king, why can he not do it as well? He probably could. Right. Uh, yeah. But then, think about that, right? So, based again on your intelligence check there, Reach, yeah. the king doesn't like the gold worm. Yeah, but he's mm. probably quite fond of the world. Yeah, but if he thinks he can take the demons anyway, he's going to let the gold worm fail first, isn't he? Yeah. So the people yeah. lose faith just in him. Emigrate to Horizon then. <laughs> well, and, and hope the king cares enough about his daughter to uh, protect the city. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So that's like, again, Crumber, you came to the same conclusion about the king as well. I am definitely like, he is unlikely to help if it means he can get rid of people's faith in the Golden Order. Mm. And I do mean faith, because obviously it irks yeah. the king. That the gold worms worshipped as a god, because again he is really, do you know what I mean? Mm. And the king doesn't like people worshiping gods because he thinks that's a weakness. He's like, why aren't you powerful enough to do the thing? <laughs> but then again, he's got an ego, so you could probably try and appeal to that. And that was ego, not an eagle. He doesn't have like a. <laughs> An eagle assistant. Oh like... damn it! <laughs> sure, I was thinking Ruya could like you know use her moves. <laughs> An eagle would be equally as bad as so. Mm. So yeah, like based on that, obviously we'll zoom back into the the discussion in character for you guys. Carry on based on that new info. Like obviously it might dawn on Reach and Crumbar. Um. Okay, I'll just kind of pipe up and be, like, uh, be like to enlist the help. Um, to enlist the help of dragons, we need to do a lot of convincing to the cities to drop their barriers and guards. As far as I'm aware, there's only one person that can do that, and that's the king. I could always ask that guy with the three dripping gold crowns if he wants to go kill some demons as well, I guess. If you like yeah, that's good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll just continue on. It's like, I doubt the king will agree to such a 
risky maneuver. But I say we're here now. We should go and fight. And like as you say that, the door opens, and then the the woman at the front desk comes in with like a big tray of stuff, and just goes, "Don't mind me." And he, like kind of shuffles past everyone, sits on like the table in the middle of all the couches, and then just says, "Help yourselves," and just like shuffles out and closes the door again. <laughs> what a legend! <laughs> So I just gestured to everyone and I was like, thoughts? Obviously, Kitty just dives straight into the food pile. Yep, too busy. Too busy with an arm. Nom, nom, nom. So, yeah, how do you answer Grumbar? Yeah, I don't know how you get. Yeah, everybody to put down their defences against dragons so they can fight something miles away from them. That's, That's a tricky uh, one, isn't could, it? It, yeah. it? It could just lead to... The portal, start a dragon where a portal's the best idea, but I would probably die on the way back home. Yeah. So when uh, you, just... you need to Eric's hammer again, and what you do is you open a portal to the abyss, you let the dragon just breathe fire into the portal. <laughs> hope for the best. <laughs> hope it doesn't burn his house. I'll, <laughs> I'll just say it's like I believe in our abil- I believe in my ability to fight. Also, hopefully, Celeste will lend a hand if things go sour. There's a laugh track that plays. When? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, she saved the. Uh, Eric, so they save us too. <laughs> but yeah, I say we head for the front line and start kicking things. So, to phrase that in a way that hopefully sinks in for everyone, Crumber says. I would prefer to go and fight on the front lines towards Gil, even though all the paladins are currently doing that. Which is still valid, that's something Zedrek has said, what do I do, do I just send you to the front lines and add to the pile? Like, <laughs> or can you just go find me someone yeah. that can help with that? So it's, again, that was the options that were left open. Um, I like how Crumbar did say let's take a vote, but then said, but also can we go do the front lines thing? <laughs> even though you all voted to I mean, go get yeah, the because that... <laughs> That's it's because... got a time and place, but not when your life's involved. Well, I mean, this is Chieftain Crumbar now, right? So democracy is second know, place right? to dictatorship. <laughs> it's also the fact that we now have had time to think about what knowledge mm-hmm. and stuff, and yeah, it'd be silly to go and try and get. <sighs> Sorry, Johnny. Um, it would be kind of silly to try and get the. Because we'd have to go see the king first, who is not going to just be like, oh yeah, sure, I'll drop down all the protective barriers and let dragons just roam free. <laughs> Seems reasonable. You might catch him on a good I mean, day, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, we're, it, like, yeah, we could use them to stop demons, but we could also just be opening ourselves up to a buttload of heart. So yeah, because it's not just the five aren't like the only chromatic dragons. Yeah. they're the head of the chromatic dragons, right? Like there is obviously like hordes of them. Just like there are lots of dragons in general in the world, but like easily like a red dragon, a red dragon could easily burn like a village, for example, and it's got nothing to do with the red's agenda. Right, even though the red's probably totally okay with that because it's destroying stuff, but yeah, like things like that can happen. Like you could come across a white dragon in the wild, and it has nothing to do with the white specifically. Kind of like how you are all subjects of the king, you know. Mm-hmm. Even though you don't probably don't consider yourselves that, um, Magna does obviously. 
Yeah, fuck the king. <laughs> so, yeah. What's the thoughts on how does everybody like settle that discussion of do you need more information? Do you want to go find an ally? Do you want to go try and get the dragons on board? Do you want to go look for Eremos and say fuck this noise? Do you want to go the front lines? All of the above. <laughs> yeah, if there's some way we could do just all of that. Mm. <laughs> mm. We could really mess up the GM and split up and do all of that. I mean, you say mess me up, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm here for this. Do you know what I mean? I can, I can handle that if I have to. <laughs> I just don't think you can. Yeah. Action economy is not in your favour if you're a one-man army. <laughs> oh dear. I know this firsthand as of last night I was doing the dungeon crawl with Nico too, and uh, we did seven rounds of arena before we nearly had our asses handed to us. But anyway, let's stick with this game. <laughs> mm. So yeah. What's everybody's like thoughts? Grumbar's probably still waiting and everybody's been like, so? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm all for finding the dragons, but, you know. I, th I think everyone's kind of leaning more towards finding the dragons, so. But finding the dragons does mean more of finding the king to get the dragons here. <sighs> Only so keep in mind, right? Me telling you those like the results of those intelligence saves or checks, sorry, isn't me saying this is the only option available. It's just things that would come to your mind when you're putting A and B well. together. So the dragons might have as I said to you, the dragons might have a way to get by them. I mean, you technically yeah. had a way to get by them. Fine, let's let's mosey out of here and go try and find the white dragon. And ask him for assistance to send his big fiery red boy down. Um, Sound good? That's one way to put it. Yeah. Um, with your intelligence crit that you got from Bar, the uh, mm -hmm. the white is known as the the Winter King. By the way. Yay! Frost Dragon! So yeah. <sighs> Hence probably why it's away up in the frozen, frozen north. Well, we best wrap up warm then. Mm-hmm. Kitty still more braziers. <laughs> Just hugging brass bowls of fire. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Uh, yeah, but... I think we've made our decision. I'll go um, and form the Drekka. Yeah. Good old commander is a Drekka. Uh, Omni is a Drekka. Form. Mm -hmm. um, he is so good. Um, yeah, so. So you head out of the door then? Grumpily, I'll head out. To find the Drekka. It's literally the next room over is her office, so or Guild's old office that she's in. She's lying mm -hmm. in, she's like I say lying. She's sitting in the chair, leaning back. There is an opened bottle on the desk. And she's got a glass in her hand that is half drunk. And she's just lying there with her like her hand over her eyes. Uh, is she like facing us or like facing me or get her hand over her eyes like she's just leaning uh, back in her chair no right yeah like it's, that being, doesn't a, matter. Like it's being an awful day <laughs> mm. yeah don't think uh, we help I'll just kind of walk in and like, am I interrupting something <laughs> usually <laughs> <laughs> and she like leans forward and blinks a couple of times I just kind of walk over to the table and I'll go against my better judgment we're going to go head north and find the white uh, what did you say it was called? The Winter King The Winter King Yeah, We're going to head north and find the Winter King and ask for his help 
Like, she looks quite solemn as well. Like, she doesn't like look like she's pleased or chuffed or anything like that. She just kind of looks... Yeah. Like, resigned, I guess, to the the fact that that's what the situation you are in. Like, I guess we'll go ask, like, the head of the evil dragons mm. to help us. Um, and then... I think, like, after I've said that, it's like... Um... While, while waiting on an answer, the open bottle on the table, I'll just reach for to take a swig out of. Yeah, she doesn't stop you. Hmm. Yeah, in that case, I'll just pick up the bottle and just start tanning it. You will need more of this courage in liquid form for the journey ahead of you. You can say that again. How do you expect us to get up north? It's not a short journey. She leans forward and she puts like her, her two, like her index finger and her middle finger with her sharp, sharp nails because she has very sharp nails. She points to the map where the Citadel like little trophy thing is on the map, the battle map thing. She points to that and then she just walks them across the map like their little legs. <laughs> Up north, she goes, how did you travel here? How did you travel from here? We got teleported here. Then teleport yourself there. Teleport us stay behind. I was like, <laughs> we, we don't uh, have the means to do that. And perhaps you should acquire the means. This would be a good thing to have access to. I I agree, but like your friend with the hammer. Our friend with the hammer is currently missing. She raises an eyebrow at that, and she says, "You shouldn't misplace your things, Paladin." <laughs> things can be replaced. Friends, not so easy. Yeah, our friend was not a thing. That's... Uh, only as far as I was aware, only Crumbar was in the uh, room with her. You can come. You can all walk in if you wanted. It's literally just the next room. Uh, I just assumed you all sat back in the couch, just like Crumbar yeah, was I, at net, food. And... Yeah, I just, I just assumed you we were all just going to stay through and just get a lunch on. <laughs> but you can walk through on that if you wanted, Reach. That can be your dramatic entrance step, sentiment. Yeah, do that. Yeah. Friends are not our things as a walk in, yeah. Fish are friends, not food. And then she say, Indeed. And friends are so hard to find, so misplacing them is not ideal. Yes, but do you know of any other means of teleportation that we could acquire? She just kind of blinks. She says, I can get you to Glitterhagen. And she kind of shrugs at that. Yeah, that's a good start, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then... Travel by foot from there, I assume. And she leans back and she goes... <laughs> she kind of like chuckles to herself in a, a way. Um, like she just thought of something she probably shouldn't have. And she says, in fact, I could get you to Anvil and Forge. Sure. But I feel like the Where, dwarves would have something to say about that. <laughs> Whereabouts is that go? That's for the north. I think. It's, uh, let me uh, tell, we'll switch, like we'll switch to the other map, right? Two seconds to move us to... Is this one I want to move <coughs> us to? If it's not, oops. But no, it's fine. So, let's see. So, you guys are here. Mm -hmm. And there's Glitterhagen. Mm -hmm. And this is Anvil, which is where all the trade from Glitterhagen travels to. And then that's like a massive underground city. And there's an underground passage to Forge, which is here in the mountains, which is where like mm -hmm. the Dwarf King lives in a massive Dwarven fortress underground. Uh, does anybody want to roll history to find out why she laughed? <laughs> yeah, I'll try it. That's an intelligence roll. Three. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh wow! 
So, Two nineteens on intelligence. So somebody who's very familiar with it, just because you're raging at the red being mentioned, it's, it's amped you up. <laughs> yeah, Boris brain is on fire, and a. Uh, it's probably just because of the racial tension, to be honest, and Crumbar is not a stranger of uh, racial tension, given that you're an orc. But um, the Dark Elves and the Dwarves have been at war for a long time, and the war never officially ended, but nobody speaks about it anymore. But the war was mm. in the underground between, like, f like see this area up here? Uh, like, like, here, essentially. Like, all the underground here is pretty much just like constant fighting between the dark elves and the dwarves even now well i mean it depends who you ask right there's obviously no war between the dark elves and or between the elves and the dwarves no of course there's not why would there be a war that would be petty but there are murders every single day yes there is a massive war it's just not public documented yeah, because the dwarves obviously don't want to talk about the fact that drow, as they would say in the racial slur, hmm. are trying to take their rightful place in the underworld, which is literally the world beneath the land. Um, and yeah, that's dwarven territory by right, by birthright. And the dark elves live there too and are like, you know, treated like trash by dwarves and there's massive fighting about it. And the reason she was laughing is because the idea of just sending you guys unannounced to Forge <coughs> which is the, like, the fucking capital city of the dwarves is funny to her because she laughs being a dark elf in a position of power. She could send an army there if she wanted to. Which is funny for her. Alright. Because the king obviously wouldn't, like, enjoy that. But as you know the king of the dwarves has ties to the golden order based on the, um, the high well, command, we, or the commander general that he's met well if we do that then we can uh, even ask the dwarf king for help as well while we're there so did you miss the part where i said he'd probably kill you on sight yeah yeah <laughs> why yeah. would he kill me on sight if he helped if he's got ties to the golden order because they suit him not the other way around, like they're at his behest. So he keeps obviously Commander General Keel on staff, who is officially a member of the Golden Order. But mm. he is kind of like an ambassador or liaison or whatever you want to say yeah. between like the King and the Golden Order in the sense that So think about this. What do the both of them have in common? The no, King dwarf. of the Dwarves and the Golden Order. They like armor and metal and stuff. Think broader. Anybody else want to? Any ideas? Gold. So, yep, gold is ignoring that. <laughs> but it's valid. Yep. Gold, 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 gold. Yeah. So, so you both don't the like to get on with the King? There oh, we gold. go. You got it, Scott, and one. Maybe three. I, it's fine. Me, I, I'm well and hitting my. Yep, numbers and fire. Intelligence roll so, for uh -huh, real life uh -huh, as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, of course they don't, right? Because the dwarf king and the elf queen aren't at war with the wizard king, but they also call themselves a king and a queen themselves, right? So they're obviously interesting politics at play there. Yeah. So, what if we went to not a uh, Anvil instead of Forge? I mean, again, you're still arriving unannounced there. And, and, yeah. and there's like, I don't know, maybe you could ask Zedrek that, because we're kind of talking out game, out with game. So let's maybe mm. go back in, and she's just chuckling at that <laughs> joke that you can work out, because obviously her saying, obviously I could send you to Forge, and that would be funny. But they'd probably kill you on sight. And then she just chuckles at herself and fin downs the rest of her drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is there any way to get word to the Dwarf King to let us uh, pass through his land safely for this important mission? Healing sword. First, that sounds like a good idea. First messengers I sent. 
and then she just like puts one of the kind of like gold little stands that she's using as army army markers. She sets it over like where forges on the map, and then she just like flicks it with her finger so it falls over. If I weren't, and she kind of like motions to like her her face. Perhaps I would have the respect of the king. And she's motioning to our race, obviously. Because uh, she's a dark elf. And there was... Uh, if she went, she would have the... No, she's saying the she's king. already asked. She says she sent messengers oh, there. So that was the first person she asked for help. The dwarves, right? Of course you're going to send a bunch of dwarf armies into the hill. But... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Just to not to actively fight, just to let us pass through their land safely. I can so send a message, but dangerous. the message yeah. would take the length of time it would take you to get there. Walking or by portal? Uh, portal. Uh, well, right, portal you would be asking Gladi, permission to use Gladi. the portal. And she kind of like I says, mean, though, could you not send a message through the portal? It wouldn't reach the other side. You, it would be destroyed like you would be if you stepped through. Okay. Dwarves aren't welcoming. Uh, getting, getting that image. Yep. We shouldn't all have gone elves, you know. <laughs> I know, maybe one dwarf would have been a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> She'll come through first. <laughs> right, who's <Please> re-rolling? <laughs> 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 to be fair, Kitty, you, you've been through a couple of race changes. Uh, do I just find <laughs> another spell? <laughs> another one. <laughs> I was just thinking, could I, like, face change to a dwarf? <laughs> I mean, you could definitely allude to a dwarf, but I don't know if we'd... Uh, literally two yeah. seconds after saying to Prisma, Whoops. I'll be good, honest... Who could well, I impersonate as a dwarf? <laughs> she she yeah. said, as long as it's not inside their walls. So. Yeah, basically she says, keep your business away from my jurisdiction and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I also like how the conversations were, yeah, I'll interrogate the Golden Order Paladins. You just, just stop doing things and go away. <laughs> and then Arya, you're, you're free to go. Like, that was that was her, her, her <laughs> techniques. But anyway, so, yeah, so back in the scene... The impression of that is that you'd need to ask permission to use the portal in the first place. Okay, I guess we're going to Glatterhagen and walking. Or horse on it from there. Yeah, it does seem like rushing would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. And she's just kind of like staring at the group. She stands up, walks over to the other side of the room, opens a cabinet, pulls out another bottle, sits back down at the desk, fills up her cup, kind of just like staring at the group. Spills some of the cup over the map because she's staring at you guys, waiting to see what you're doing. Then just starts drinking. <laughs> Well, um, get us to Glitterhagen, I guess, and we'll make it from there. You could always ask the Elf Queen for help as well if you're going to chase people. Can you okay. do that one? We'll go on a royal errand to find. She just like, kinda, like she just kind of scoffs at that as she's like you know like ha as she's like. Si laughing at the side of her cup and just swigs more of her drink. Like, Sophie, you could probably guess that the Elf Queen's not gonna... Like, it would take an absolute fuck ton for her to give a shit about it, right? Like... Yeah. I just sort of, like, scoff, like, <laughs> she won't help. <laughs> she never helps. Like, again, again, for you as an elf, you're relatively convinced that the Elf Queen could hold her own against the Wizard King probably, which is probably why she's still allowed yeah. to rule all the elves. Um, but at the same time, sh the idea is that if demons invaded the entire planet, they wouldn't be able to take the Queenswood, is the assumption, because of how well defended it is and the pride of the elves and yeah. all that. 
Um, it's probably mm-hmm. what the dwarves are hoping for as well, quite frankly, as well, because they're all underground. It's like, all right, cool, demons can come in if yeah. they want, you know? They can try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why do you think Magna took the island in the middle, right? <laughs> yeah, because uh, no one wanted it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'll take this this space, this is mine claimed. Um, but obviously, you can tell that's like a sarcastic thing from Zedreka. She doesn't expect that. She's just saying, I mean, if you're going to chase the white and the dwarf king, why not chase the elf queen as well? You know? Uh-huh. So, yeah, I'd rather not go back home just yet. <laughs> There's <laughs> a reason I've been staying away. <laughs> but yeah, and then, like, do you just leave the room or what's the plan? We're going to do the portal to Glarhagen and do it, are we? Is that what we're doing? Uh-huh. And it's literally just that she can send you from here to, like, the order hall in Glarhagen. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um it does take a couple of weeks off the journey time and at least yeah, we've does. still got probably uh-huh. another month or so after that. Uh, yeah. Like or so. looking yeah, at the map, know. right, so you've got let's see. So you've got Glory Hagen. You've got you've got like a month to get to there, probably. Because that was like this was when you when at this area is where the house landed. <laughs> that took a good few weeks mm-hmm. to get to and then you've got then some mountains to go over here I was actually thinking oh I don't know I've got the wrong one and it depends. going right over the short bit uh, what like that bit right. yeah I do this a queue a uh, queue yeah, yeah or the cold over there, <laughs> yeah. it's got to be a wee ferry across there kind of idea so we could take horses I'm expecting over that way the, uh, it's got to be something somewhere there. There's a lot of waterfalls and rapids that way, and also a place called the Calamity, which is this massive waterfall. Yeah, doesn't sound a good place for crossing. No, um, but you could always just like get there and then try and I don't know, build a boat or take a boat with you or some shit. There's also like, keep in mind, remember there were villages in here, so there might still be some people in here. Mm. Also, Ermos's tower is in here somewhere. Remember. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Those guards, remember, that you put down a river? Probably <laughs> <laughs> the best not me naming it. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so you could. A bit smelly. The better would be dangerous, but you could do that. Uh, but then everywhere is kind of dangerous, right? And this, remember, there's giants like along this mountain range. We're hunting wild dragons. Giants are nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> giants fall over rivers, apparently, so that's they're not even a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I could punch fuck at a giant. I mean, there's an interesting yeah. statement. <laughs> you could travel to Anvil as, like, normal people. Like, just from the, like, the trade route. And then try and just enter anvil and then use the underground passage to get to forge and then try and go through the wilds to get up to like the frost range up here Mm. so you could try that that's an option but that would involve negotiating from anvil to forge and justifying why you're there luckily nobody's a dark elf in the party so that's a plus so it isn't it's not instant racism (laughs) just mild Mm-hmm. And that is not the worst <laughs> journey, really. I mean, you're maybe talking maybe just shy of two months, depending on how you travel. By eagle. <laughs> uh, never, because one eagle would not get you all the <laughs> By a couple of eagles. But yeah, at least glitter, the glitter he can jump saves you a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Um, right, go to Glitterhagen, go talk to Dwarfy King, go up north. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, if that's the plan, it's up to you guys. Like I said, Zodraka, when he's ready, she'll make the arrangements for you to make the jump. So... Love it. What's the... What's everybody's plan? He's ready to go now, or he's going to do stuff in the Citadel? 
to get ready. Um, yeah, possibly. like. I mean, I think we're all good. Rations. Yeah. We're all yeah. rested up and shit, aren't we? We're rested, but we could maybe do more rations. I know we've all got plenty, yeah. but still, yeah. we're going to be away for a while. Yeah. I mean, everybody could add like another set of ten yeah. rations on if they wanted. Yeah, like that's something that they'd, they okay. could easily spare, like at least ten each. Yeah. I think that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Oh, I am over capacity. Shocking. <laughs> 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 right, Kill Supreme! I wonder <laughs> why. <laughs> you couldn't possibly, you have absolutely nothing. <laughs> so we've got a spyglass, we've got a signal whistle, we've got your crowbar, fucking hell, a grapple hook. You could be using some of this stuff sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she does, she swings her bag at enemies. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that, but that there's a character and that that does it. See if we ever get I'll, an artist to draw these people, like... right? You need to show them your inventory lists, just so as they draw accurate representations of your people. <laughs> it's, again, it's just a tiny, tiny wood elf behind all of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Gods, yeah. Did you manage to get back mm -hmm. under capacity there? Yeah, I just took away the 10, because apparently 8 is my maximum. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting rid of like, like yeah, massive piles of crossbow bolts I... or... To be fair, no, I, I've, I mean, I've got 65 crossbow bolts. <laughs> It does tell you if you're over capacitated, uh, doesn't it? Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, it I says can... the total weight and it'll, it'll say underneath it <laughs> when right. you go over. I can carry a, a t a extra tent for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, shoot. thanks. So that's... Okay. <laughs> I've got oh. a tent tool. Right. Where does it actually tell you your max capacity? It doesn't tell you your it's max. It's in your equipment list. It's, um... It doesn't tell you the max, but just, I don't know, slap on 10 of something problem. and see what it takes to come off. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm example, at 100. Like, see, your holy symbol doesn't have a weight, right? See if you just type in... Yeah. Like a wait into that to edit it. So you put it in. Because my max weight, yeah, yeah. I think, is 119. Because it's something to do with, I think it's like, is it 12 times your strength score or 5 times your strength score? It's something like that. It's something to do mm. with your strength, yeah. So what is 12 times? I'm a times? big What's bulky strength boy, score, so. okay. Um. Okay, the score is 10. Yeah, it's minus one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so the score is ten. Eight. Is it? Oh, sorry, it's reach I'm looking at. Yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah. So eight. So yeah, so 12 times eight is 96. So I guess it's not that math then. <laughs> uh, it is quite big. It might be eight or something. I don't know, some bad one. Let's see. I'll go more and just see. Right, 50 is too much for me. 170 is too much for me. <laughs> Too much. All right, I'm near my boat. <laughs> uh, doesn't carry weapons, yeah. yeah. It's handy at times, isn't it? <laughs> I could actually carry thirty nine. So uh, it's about one hundred fifty. Is mine's? What's my strength? Ten. So it must be fifteen times your strength. Okay, yeah. So if we do fifteen times eight for Katie, so eight times fifteen. 120, yeah, that makes sense. So it must be 15 times your strength score. Mm. There you go. We've probably did this maths before and we probably just forgot, but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay, math! But yeah, so you can all go pick up like the equivalent of a 40 pack of rations. <laughs> Divide them up as you please. So who's taking what? I'm assuming everybody else can carry their own 10. It's just Kitty that struggles to yeah. carry her own food. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got eight. <laughs> so, do, 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 where's my ration? And then, I mean, sure, I'll take seventeen rations. <laughs> so yeah, what's the plan then? He's want to do anything else while he's in the the citadel? Uh, what are you doing? No, uh, keep him in. Sorry, seventeen extra rations. Yeah. No, he's got uh, seventeen if... now. He had seven. I've got seventeen now. Right, got you, cool. He took his 10, essentially. Yeah. Mm. And then, Arya, you took your 10, yeah? 
I was already at seven, so I just... There's always room for more. That's the war of you taking... You're up to 17 now? Yerp. No, oh, are, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Actually, no, I'm over capacity. Ah. Oh, How much? No. I can take another nine, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have that not is... carried anything. Work well, yeah. It's, it's just right in the back of Stu's. He's like, I've carried the party. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I can only have I mean, 11. It's not wrong. <laughs> oh, well, I, well, technically. 11 in total. Um, Three, four, sort of six. Right, I can take your six. Okay. Right, so I've got six for you as well. Okay. That's something I like about the whole group there, Sophie, is that like nobody oh, has specifically so... carried the party. Like everybody's done a, like their chunk. I was, yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, actually, wait a minute, no, because sometimes he ends up just being knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I like down for the count. Mm -hmm. It's like, god dang it. Oh, okay. All right, how many rations? Are you leaving over, right? It's, like you don't need to take all forty. It's just that we have taken all forty. You Good. said we could, so we did. I assumed yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you said we could take things and take human them all. <laughs> Only possible problem we have is water, but we have got that more or less sorted. We the jug. Aye, the jug. As long as the jug isn't beer. Yeah. I think I've still got some. Oh, I've got five water skins as well. Yeah, you can fill them back up with actual water if you want, instead of that weird direwood water you were going to try. We did get rid of the direwood water at one mm -hmm. point. You did, you poured it back out. You picked it up and then poured it back out. Yeah. I'm good, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, but, but you yeah. can fill your water skins Filled with water, up. obviously. Yeah, fill them up as well. Right. Yeah. Mm. So. Right. And then... I think that? we're ready for going. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Like, you just let me know when you or let Zedrek know when you want to go, yeah. or that woman at the front desk. Quite frankly, because you you just wandered off to like the stores to get like the rations, obviously. The long oh. shelf life rations that is. <laughs> For some reason, lots of toilet roll and hand sanitizer seems to be missing. It's bizarre. <laughs> Normally there's a plenty it's supply for everybody, out. right? But no, apparently uh, people have been taking more than their fair share. <laughs> Oh, dear. But yeah, uh, so you can spend obviously as much time as you want in the uh, Golden Citadel, it's up to you. I think we just want to head. We are all okay, so yeah. Everybody else cool with that? Or... Yeah. Come back, yeah. are you? Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, I'm good to go. Right, so you head back, obviously, you see you are good to go. You are led off to, like again, another like they're essentially teleport circles, um, and let's see, two seconds, we need to go fetch the uh, the telemancer, and uh, as I go off, and like, these are kind of left in the room for a bit, you know, all your stuff kind of piled up in the departure circle, and then this kind of old, oldish man kind of like shuffles in and looks up and says, Travelling, are we? And shuffle is that, like dirty, is, dirty like gold robes that he's got. Is that um what's his name? Oh, Master Pycelle. <laughs> Fucking shuffly man, uh, guy that just walks about the gaff. No, it's not Jet. Why can't <laughs> Jet? Thank no, you. Yeah, old man Jet. No, who knows? We're all he might be on their front lines for all we know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Literally, he's a he's a was it a combat controller class? So he just talks to people and bores them. <laughs> um, but this no. is where he's going to turn out to be like the overarching baddie. Yeah, he's he's the end villain. Yeah, the big the big mm -hmm. bad. But no, so the telemancer uh, like starts like doing the ritual that is activating all the sigils as they all start glowing gold. And he's like, if you've got anything you guys are missing, I would throw it in the circle now. Kind of chuckles to himself. Dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I have my bird, right? Yeah, you, Just check. you have Ruya. Yeah. Yes. I'm happy then. Yeah, unless I specifically tell you Ruya has been taken from you, assume it's likely there, unless you have a question. Oh, yes. and it goes, oh, she's been oh, gone yeah. the whole time. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so you all jump in, pile in, golden light, whoosh. And we'll end there. 
Ooh, suspenseful. I feel like Jet, if Jet was on the front line, he'd be one of those people who he'd somehow stumble, but because he stumbled, that meant he just got out of the range of like, like an arrow going the Jar Jar Binks him. of the army, like, <laughs> I guess so, or like yeah. the Jack like, Sparrow. <laughs> It sort of somehow get knocked out of his hands. We'd bend down to pick it up, just missing someone swinging an axe mm-hmm. over his head. <laughs> 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 like this, that somehow attacks someone, another enemy, so the enemies end yeah. up killing themselves, kind of thing. He leans back up. You know, swords in my day used to have better handles. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what are you going to call this one? What's our name for this one? Follow um, me. Journey to the cult. Bit of the worst or something, I don't know. The teleports. I was going to say, yeah, mine's just please follow me, is my suggestion. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> mm. I guess I'll chuck it in chat. Uh, for... From Hellhole to uh, Frozen North, I don't know. Uh, or, um, practical. Mm. Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Of the fry, <laughs> frying pan in the freezer. We're not there yet, but yeah. Um, um, I've got a wee slight adi- like modifier to that one. Coming. There you go. <laughs> Winter, we're Winter coming. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I quit like that. It's alright, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I do quit like that. That's, uh, yeah. Any other thoughts, guys? I'm going to plus that as well. No, I'll leave that yep. Good about that then, that works for me, unless there's any other suggestions. It works for me too. Good, good. Right, so that's got a name. Let's review goals, shall we? Uh, how do we do the goals? Not very well. Nobody even talks in Inferno. Yeah, yeah alas. Uh, where are we? Here? Let me Still haven't managed to figure out how to close hell holes. So, get word to GW at Gil, seems to still be ongoing. Find out about how to close health holes. Learn Infernal. Uh, lend their aid to the Citadel, are you the abyss? So, I mean. Uh, yeah. These are, I mean, technically, we went there to get give them help, and now we're giving them look, more help by going and getting white. Yeah, I was going to say, that, I'd boy. say that's done, right? Yeah. Because. Giving them help. Yeah. Any help they wanted. Yeah. So, obviously, you might want to replace that with what the help these are doing. Um, yeah. So, the white dragon. What's it becoming? What's our? Uh, who's got a goal Survival for slot four? Find the white dragon. Hmm. <laughs> 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 um, uh, so, Crumbar, that was a uh, assigned to you that goal. So, mark inspiration. Yay! I like that. inspiration. Yay! And also, it's remember it's fifty times your level in XP, guys. So, two fifty is that? Level what level? Yeah, two fifty, six, eight fifty, one two eight fifty. We're on. Yay! We're getting there. Mm-hmm. So it's winter, literally. <laughs> but... Right. So did you mark inspiration um... as well? Me, yeah. Good man. Uh, MD got an idea for the other goal? I'm wanting to maybe try and do something with the Dwarf King people. See if we can... Uh, so what, like, get aid from the Dwarf King? Or what? Yeah, get, yeah, get aid. Yeah, get, get aid for the uh, Golden Order from the Dwarf King. So, let me... So... Um, Get the dwarves help. Get the dwarves to help the citadel. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody happy with that for now? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you can tweak it if you just want to change it for next time, obviously. I don't mind if we tweak that or whatever. Um, also, let me just double check something before this I to check a values thing because I'm trying to work out pacing obviously for this wonderful game where are we just now these are all level five aren't you yeah so yeah I might change the gold XP 
I might change that. Does everybody want to give yourselves another 250? Mm -hmm. Okay, talk me into it. <laughs> what does that take us to then? 3,000? It's B100. Yeah, it's 13,100, yeah. Yay, more... I was going to say more money, but more... <laughs> XP. Uh, yeah. More yeah. other things. 13,100, and that was 500. You just got that time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I might do a hundred times do level. I, I literally just cro closed the thing as well. Two seconds, I'll open it back up. It's like 14,000 or something like that. Uh, Ooh. It is, yeah, 14,000. Nice, 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 nice. Mm -hmm. Yay. 14,000 is the next one. So close. Well, we're to find all, the right all in 14,000. No. That'll be the next level. Now. All right. Cool. So these are 900 away from it. Then. Yep. Yeah. You're basically two goals away from it, or mm -hmm. a goal in a really horrible combat. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I yeah. like really horrible combat. I mean, well, you had that choice, right? Yeah, I was gonna say you had that choice. Uh, out of the fire and into the other fire, and then also the other fire yeah. after that, and the fire after that. Um, I yeah. would have wrecked me up some combat. Well, let's have another oh, mate. Let's review this, right? So, so far, right? We've got our goals set just now. If you want to change them, you can let me know, right? Have a think mm -hmm. about it, and we can change them if need be. Keep in mind, even if it's midweek and everybody's like, yeah, that's a better idea for a goal, we can update it during the week if need be. I don't mind that stuff. Um, just The more time I get to prep a session, the better, really. Um, as I said, I'm going to just put in brackets after that goal. That was a 100xp. Um, 100 times XP, that is. Just so I don't forget why maths didn't work out properly. Because it might be that that is too quick to level up, but I just want to get a balance that isn't you guys playing for like two years and haven't got to level 8 or some shit, do you know what I mean? So mm. I want you to progress through the game, um, obviously. But let's do our wrap up chat. So, Arya, do you want to start us off? We'll go from the top. Well, I have to say, I was actually quite uh, kind of looking forward to see if I was going to be interrogated as well. So it was a <laughs> bit of a relief when they were like, oh yeah, I just find, bring you bring it to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, and uh, um, then obviously it took us a while to figure out what we want to do next. But I'm actually quite excited. So I'm I'm really looking forward for our next session already. <laughs> yeah, like go let's go try and find the, the white dragon. Yeah. yeah. Like ha ha I don't even Yeah. 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 Also, still you're so close to magic fists as well, by the way. I am um, I know that's one thing it's quite a big one for me, but yeah. Yep. That's... So good. Um Ethan, you want to add, are you? I'm really excited about getting to level 6 soon as well. Mm -hmm. I may have pulled the book and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, like, what do I get at level 6? Yeah, that's what I'm like sometimes as well when I know I'm close to a level up. Yeah, because I've not played Druid in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a wee while for us, obviously. We're off for a wee bit. Maybe we hit and miss, but it's been nice to be back. Um, uh, Grumbar? Some of us have a lot more time as well. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that we didn't get murdered by being in prison, because yes. I seriously thought that was going to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm quite quite happy about that. It seems like you've made another ally, right? Like, I mean, Prisma seems... Yeah. Well, I know you're a bit questionable about her, but... Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just wanting to make sure that she's more... Princess Justoria than King, King Magma, Fucky yeah. Nugget. <laughs> or King Magma, as Stu calls him. Yeah. <laughs> King Fucky Nugget. Mm -hmm. Bye. Um, no, it was you didn't you didn't get like shivved in in magic prison. <laughs> no, you're all good. Yeah. I mean, I would not have been happy if that were to happen. You did. You were on the ball with your rules as well, apparently. Oh, mate! So much smarts today. Crumbar is involved in the current situation, how dare you? Slams fist on the <laughs> table. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else you want to add? Mm, no, I'm all good. good. 
kidless? Well, I was expecting to get interrogated quite a bit. Like, why would you be impersonating this? Why would you be doing mm-hmm. it? just ended up being, yeah, just don't do it again. Like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, there was a reason why she kind of interviewed like the people with official positions first. Um, mm. Yeah, because she was like, oh, see if I get the answers I would need from them. Then I'll go for the people that are actually... As she might put it, silly enough to try illusions in the city of magic. <laughs> um, and at that point, she was like, "Yeah, I've got everything I need. On you go. I don't just just take your nonsense elsewhere. Just go away. Yeah. Not to leave pal. I... <laughs> that was good. Uh, also, you get to go hunt a dragon. That's going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be something. <laughs> mm. Yep. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It's not terrified about hunting a fucking dragon. Mm-hmm. No, not at all. I know something's worse about it. Asking it to follow us back down <laughs> south. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just leaving bits of candy for it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why did your journey take you seven years? Well, we took a bag of candy, we ran out, so we had to go back to Glitterhagen, <laughs> buy more candy, head back. But by that time, they'd ate the candy we'd already left out, so we had to start again. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to do research about dragons as well, or find dragon experts and stuff. Like you can always do that when you like hit Glitterhagen, right? Like you don't need to just wander off into the wilderness. You can try and source people out. Um, people do study these things, um, but that's a thing for obviously next time. You can plan and assess and whatnot as you go. Anything else you want to add to Kitlith? No, it'd be interesting with the. Dragons, but mm. yeah. And At least I'm going to be here for next episode now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, reach. Uh, see if we were, if Bilbo Baggins was on our journey, he'd have gave up hundreds of miles ago. Can you say <laughs> that? That's enough. I've walked more than enough now. <laughs> there and back again, and back again, yeah. and there again, and somewhere and, else. <laughs> exactly. He'd mm-hmm. uh, have been happy for the portals, but that'd be the only thing. Yeah. Well, this is it. Do you know I mean, sometimes uh, having convenient teleporting gets gets like uh, you know your legs get a bit unused and you forget what it's like to travel the world like a normal person. Nothing and... Wrong with my legs being unused. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly okay. Aye, uh, uh, so, it's good. What a journey, but yeah, okay. Uh, so at least we'll see bits of the country we've not seen, I guess. That's all the Maybe we'll meet another. Mm. Uh, giant and Kitty can steal his toes this time. <laughs> Talk I mean, to the giant. Can we just have a couple of your toes? That'll do. <laughs> if he's, I mean, if he's befriend the giant, he's going to get him to like throw you to his other giant buddy, and that's a faster way to travel, uh, right? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that is that is the future <laughs> transportation right there. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's when I had there, reach. Mm. Not to, really. Yeah. No, no, all good. Yeah, I'm still think, half thinking the fight might be a better idea. You know, if you could <laughs> just run in, do a few fights, and run back out and recover. Well, like then back just travel back from Glitterhagen by boat back to the Citadel, yeah. and be like, yeah. Ashley, we changed our mind. Like, send somebody else to go chat to Dragon. We're just, just pick up your weapons and head towards the the abyss. We're good. We got this. <laughs> we need a couple of levels before we go chat to Dragons. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the worst idea, to be honest. But, I mean, who's to say what's going to happen, right? We don't know where he's land yet, because I like mm. doing cliffhangers mid-teleport now, so yeah. that's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> this good. is where we we, la- a ho- like we land on a house. Yeah, you just fall on a house. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> or you just fall on Eric on a house, you know? Like, just start stacking things, you know? Almost like a catamari. But anyway, uh Thanks for playing, everybody. It was fun, as always. Uh, hopefully we'll be on board for next week, but we can suss that out in the meantime. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.